Hello, this is Abdul Halim with you, and I would like to welcome you all with an Islamic greeting, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, which means may peace be upon you all. Hope everybody is doing fine today. Viewers, I come up with another interesting experiment on Compact Logics Studio 5000 platform, which is how to control or drive a stepper motor through PLC controller. So today's objectives are control stepper motor to a PLC controller in our case it will be compact logics L30 ER controller drive it in both full step and half step mode and of course in both clockwise and counterclockwise direction after completion of this experiment viewers you will realize you will learn the real importance of sequencer output instruction you will see how 20 to 30 wrong long code can be turned down to only few rungs long code like about we can say five five rungs long so you will see and how we will reduce the requirement of number of timers we will be using only one timer and one sequencer output instruction to get the job done so what is the stepper motor stepper motor are dc motors that moves in discrete steps they have multiple coils as you can see in the figure that the, these coils are organized in a group called phases so by energizing these coils or uh, phases in a specific sequence motor start rotates is rotating in in a particular direction one step at a time uh, with a certain angle that angle is called step angle so with a computer control stepping you may achieve a very precise positioning this is the advantage or this is the beauty of stepper motor which is which is cannot be achieved to other or ordinary DC motor so instead of computer our computer will be a PLC controller which will be running uh, main algorithm so here are the sequence table on right hand side we can see so here is the block diagram for our today's experiment we will be using PLC controller which is a compact logix EL30R controller that will be driving its IO module which is integrated on its rack and that um, our output module will be driving to a certain chip which is called L293 motor driver that motor driver will be driving a stepper motor in in particular direction and uh, yes of course you need to know you need to uh, note that the stepper motor that is integrated on the hardware that we, i showed you before is having a step angle of 1.8 degree and of course half step angle will become 0 0.9 degree that the stepper motor can rotate in either full step sequence or a half step sequence so if it is if its step angle is 1.8 degree the of course the half step sequence will be 1.9 degree go back okay the hardware setup that i have got here for today's experiment is all ready to go or uh, i think it would be a good idea let me exp uh, let me explain or brief you on this hardware there might be new audience or new viewers viewers they they might not have a chance to watch my previous videos so it will be good or helpful for them so the hardware or a plc controller that i have got for today's experiment here it is uh, allen bradley compact logics l30 er controller and then there's a power supply unit and then there are io modules analog in analog out then and digital input module and digital output module integrated on its rack and then there is a breakout connector which we have designed just to tap or have access easy access of uh, the io connections of uh, the modules so that we can tap and connect it wherever we want so this is very helpful for us then we have got a plc application board 
34500 from feedback the beauty of this board is it has multiple circuits or a couple of circuits already built in or integrated it on here as we can see the whole dc motor and temperature control circuitry is fabricated or built already then we have one uh, voltage divider circuitry here we have a couple of switches we have seven segment display we have led bar graph and importantly we have a stepper motor circuitry which is integrated already along with its ln293 driver then we have a traffic control simulator also and couple of others so this is all about the hardware setup that i have back to the studio 5000 open it up and writing start writing our codes so look for the rockwall software click on studio 5000 okay so i have created a project already and given it a name stepper motor and uh, the only IO module was required is digital output module which I already configured uh, it is properly with uh, compact logics through USB the path is set communication is already done and uh, I have written my a code uh, which is too rung long uh, totally as you can see here at the first rung uh, there is a uh, instruction sequencer okay. the sequencer output instruction is reading this data array elements one by one based on uh, every C I mean every next step I mean every next interval which is set by this timer 250 millisecond it waits and it when it's uh, done for 250 millisecond and it energizes this rung and then the first element or the next element of the array will be copied to this data output uh, variable that data output variable is being read and being written on directly to the uh, digital output uh, output module uh, data output points so um, this is all about this uh, uh, code and about the tags if you double click over here as you can see uh, the data array has uh, eight number of elements uh, and uh, what is the one two four eight nine and then the next step it has to be twelve and six and three then it should repeat itself so let's put this value to the data array elements here the first one should be nine the second one should be 12 the third one should be 6 the fourth one should be 3 then it should repeat itself okay there was a small problem that uh, the sequencer output always element so first one in the data array our element first one should be 0 then our main data should be on first place not zero place so whenever our sequencer output will be energized or will be accessed triggered then it will point to this data so this one will be ready at first instance so I corrected it so starting from um, 9 12 6 3 then so on again it will repeat 9 12 6 3 so we have nine elements but we are reading eight elements instead so let's program it download program download it successfully okay let me turn on my other camera to show you the hardware setup okay as you can see here the stepper motor is moving in full step mode 1.8 degree per step in clockwise direction as I mentioned earlier, I'll be tapping first four points, which will be connected to um, a coil through this LN293 driver, which will be controlling. So this is all about our hardware, and uh, the software is running on that PC, the main algorithm. So let's take it to the half-step sequence. 
and how you will see how we will modify our main code. Okay, in order to change it or uh, uh, drive a mode stepper motor in half step sequence mode, what all we need to do is to add it. Sorry, add it this data array. from 8 to 16 element long first okay so change it 17 that element then change its value change its data itself which okay so if we go back here we will see there are 16 steps and 16 data elements so we will drive its equivalent decimal value here and we will copy these value to data element array and the ladder logic so first one is supposed to be 8 then 12 then 4 then 6 then 2 3 1 and 9 so then again it has to repeat itself so let's copy this value there in the data element array so first one was supposed to be 0 then eight nine then it has to repeat itself or six one and yeah that's all about so and modify this sequencer output instruction from eight element to sixteen element long length okay so that's all about what we have to make and make change in our ladder code download it and see as you can see here now the stepper motor is moving with the half step sequence mode and uh, it's moving a bit faster earlier it was uh, taking a step of 1.8 now it's moving with 0.9 degree angle so that's all about today's exam oh yeah I, I missed uh, how to change or how to rotate it in counterclockwise so there are two ways either you need to change the data element array array from top to bottom sorry bottom to top reverse it or just uh, reverse these inputs so better or a quick way is to just swap these driving inputs so you will see it will start moving in counterclockwise direction yeah see now it start moving in counterclockwise direction okay so that's all about for today's experiment I hope you would have liked it if so please thumb up which will encourage me to keep posting such kind of learning material. Thanks, have a good day.